What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Inform Alba. This is his first Inform card, but his technically third special card, fourth if you, well no, no, second special card, and third if you include the UCL, um, just normal upgrade cards from the 87 to the 88. Personally, I don't count them because obviously they were just released at the start of the game for pretty much anyone in Champions League. Um, but he does have an 88 Champions League. Um, I believe it's a team at a group stage card, not the live card. So that is an 88. And then we have got an 89 Alba. So actually really happy with this card. Um, 95 pace is always absolutely fantastic on a, on a left back. And even a left wing back if you really choose to put him there. 198k on the Xbox currently and 206 on the PlayStation. That is likely to drop. Also could, depending uh, on what happens on the weekend, I believe Foot Birthday runs out this weekend, but I can't remember what day, if it's either Friday or Saturday, or they may go the whole week with Foot Birthday. I'm, uh, I'm not quite up to date on what that is, but... Depending on what they do, um, normally they do something on the weekend. We may see the price go down a little bit more or it may rise a little bit, obviously, during weekend league um, and then go down towards the end of um, the weekend league and start of next week. So, realistically, if I was looking to pick this card up, I'd probably say around about 150 would be a fair price. If it doesn't drop that, I'd say 165 at a real push. Anything more than that, to be honest... I'm not too interested. 200k is quite a lot and there is quite a few options which we will get into at the end of the video. But if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you smash that like button. It's been absolutely fantastic with, with the new kind of format of clips and everything. The, the support has been absolutely massive. And if you are enjoying, subscribe for that. I'm thinking about some different ideas for videos as well. As player reviews, I kind of want to wait as well till team of the season to really put some serious money in. Um... To, to actually get them players. So, anyway, without further ado, let, let's get on to it. So, he is a three-star, three-star skill moves and weak foot. Um, he is left-footed at five foot seven with a medium defensive work rate and a high attacking work rate. So, realistically, I say that word a lot. I've realized as I've gone back and played back to everything, I say that word a lot. So, I'm going to try and steer clear of it. But, we're looking at it. Three-star, three-star. I'm okay with that. Four-star weak foot would be quite nice. Skill moves, I'm not really too fussed about with a left back. Um, five foot seven, you may think it's a problem for possible heading. I must admit, I didn't really see too much of a difference. Obviously, standing headers was a little bit of an issue when he's going against someone who's at least six foot. But when it came to running and heading, the kind of the sprinting and the motion and jumping up, he actually won quite a lot, which was really nice to see, especially for being actually quite small in comparison to a lot of players. Then we go on, the, on to the attributes. Like I said, the pace is absolutely fantastic. He is a very, very quick left back. Um, we look at the defending as well. 82, not the most incredible defending in the world, but I think... With the fact that he's got passing and dribbling at 85 and 84, um, that's dribbling 85, passing 84, and then physicality at 76, I think it kind of it balances it a little bit, especially with the chem style, which we'll get onto. So, some standouts from all of them. We've got 92 crossing, which is amazing. 89 short pass, 85 curve. We've got 92 agility, 87 balance, 85 ball, uh, reactions, 86 ball control, um, 80 composure, which is okay. 87 interceptions, as well as standing tackle. 88 slime tackle. 96 stamina and 85 jumping. So that's pretty much the breakdown of all of his stats and kind of like the better ones. Um, there is some low 70s uh, in there. The shooting wise, really not worth touching. But if you are to put a sentinel on his this card you'll get 91 defending and 84 physical that bumps up his standing and slide tackles to 99 his interceptions to 92 his eight, uh, head and accuracy to 82 did i say that to 92 interceptions 82 head and accuracy 84 marking 95 jumping 74 strength and 89 aggression so for me that is a clear winner. You don't need any pace and that it would just be a total waste to put any pace on this card. He is already fantastic with the pace that he's got. He's got 96 stamina, so he's a, he's a really 90-minute winner for me. Um, and for the price, I'm quite happy with him. Like I said, if I was going to get him for 150 to 165, I'd actually be happy with him. 
So, the only issue with him, I'm going to go into the comparison now, and then we're going to do what I liked, what I didn't like, and then we'll go for the overall and if he is worth the coin. So, for me, the only issue with him is the amount of left-backs you can get. Granted, if you are going for pure rating, he is the cheapest 89 left-back on the game. Um, I think the only other 89s are the headliner Alexandro and the UCL... Is it the UCL? Yeah, the UCL um, Marcelo. So for that, you're looking at Marcelo's 250, uh, Sandro's 495. Then above that, you've got a 305k Salah left back. Personally, I liked it, but I think it's a waste having him left back. You could potentially have Salah left back and Marcelo right mid and switch them. That would work quite nicely, and to be honest... That's not a bad idea that I've just thought about whilst doing this. Um, and then looking at the ones above that, you've got the Roberto Carlos um, mid and prime. And then you also have the team of the year Marcelo, which was fantastic. But he is looking at a mil. If you do have the mil Marcelo team of the year for me, hands down was the best left back on this game. He is unreal. Whether he is worth the mil, it, it, it's up for debate. I, I personally rock his 88 um, just gold standard and he is absolutely fantastic for me and what he is 68k so for me Alba you've really got to need that position at the Spanish the left back Barcelona potentially if you're going for possibly a Ramos or you're going for s someone in the Barcelona team to get that strong link maybe Messi if you're putting him in centre mid and swapping him so for me the, the reason why I'd get this card is mainly just fitting in with the team he wouldn't be my first choice. I think Marcelo and Sandro are, for me, the two top tier uh, left, left backs in the game for me. That's up for debate. Obviously, there's plenty of other options. But for me, that's where I'm holding with it. So, whether I enjoyed this card, what did I like, what didn't I like about him. Overall, he is fantastic. He is a very good left back. Very pacey. Gets up the wing. Gets down the wing. Quite happy with that. Shooting wise, it's a bit average. Obviously, I'm not expecting him to be the next best thing but a little bit extra would have been nice on him um, obviously Marcelo's team of the year I know the rate and comparison is completely off but that card for me has that shooting balance and even his left back is normal one that for me has that balance of an okay shot that I'm, I'm willing to take with him um, defensive wise absolute class was always there for the last man challenges um, heads the ball gets behind the defenders and uh, the attackers and tackles them, um, intercepts. I think overall he's a very solid uh, left back. Personally, I'd always have to have that sentinel on. Um, without it, I think he really does struggle a little bit on the defensive side. Intercepts well, but the tackle-wise is a little bit off for me. So that personally would be a, a real criticism of this card. He needs that Kemen style on him. Otherwise, you may find a little bit of a, an uneven balance with going forward and actually being able to defend. The dribbling on him is is really, really nice, especially for a left back. Very confident on the ball. Composure isn't... It, it's average. It's okay. It isn't the greatest in the world for a left back, but it's it's there enough for you to be able to, to run with the ball and get them crosses in. Obviously, like I said, he does have 92 crossing as well. Absolutely fantastic with that. Um, left footed, so he can personally takes the right hand corners for me. Again, whips them in really nice. So to me, he is an overall solid left back. The only issue is, and I think this affects his overall, is the fact that there is plenty of options and one that I completely overlooked um, is future star Mendy absolutely fantastic left back obviously he's a little bit more expensive than um, than Alba but he does have that possession of a, a French link and that could be quite nice in this game obviously you've got Kante Pogba in the midfield you've got Varane at the back obviously you could have um, Blanc uh, who else there? Vieira. Just thinking of the strong links there. You've got plenty of options there with that. He is a little bit more expensive. I think he's about 240, but he offers more going forward for me. Um, maybe not as, as good defensively as Alba, but forward and back, I'd probably say he trumps him just on the fact that he can 
do both at a reasonable level. So for me, overall rated, I'm giving him an 8 out of 10. He is a fantastic left back. If he dr does drop below 150, if he gets to say 130, snap him up. I really can't see him going to that, but I think 130 for me will be an absolute bargain of a, a bargain of a price. I'm saying it now. I'm not a massive trader, and I don't really know a huge amount. Like I'm not talking that I'm like say run the foot, foot markets kind of level, but I've seen these sort of cards. Looking at his 88, that's going for 118. If he goes for 130, one possibly close to 140 i think that's a really really good deal for this and you definitely need to snap them up so let me know what you think do you enjoy these are you okay with the team of the week player reviews or do you want me to strictly um, stick with specials like prime moments pro uh, promo sbcs like foot birthdays all of that or do you like these team of the weeks the fact that no one else does them or they're very rushed with some people so let me know what you think i'd love to know um, that'll be the pin of the day team of the week Yay or nay, basically. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button. It means a hell of a lot to me. And make sure you subscribe for more content. We're going to be blasting it out. The support's been amazing, and I can't thank you enough. So hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.